Svatra Sarvada, Svatra Sarvada, Svatra Sarvada, Svatra Sarvada, Any ladies here? Come on, I see a cell phone over there. Well, we're waiting. Uh, if you feel embarrassed, so you can't do it. But it's an easy verse, you know. It's an easy. Tasmat Let's hear it. Come on, the silence is golden, but not now. Anyone else would like to? Yeah. Yeah, 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 you started to do. Tasmat Sarvatmara Rajan. Tasmat Sarvatmara Rajan. Hari Sarvatra Sarvada. Hari Sarvatra Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, Hari Sarvatra Sarvada, Hari Sarvatra Sarvada, Rota Vyakirti Tavyascha, Rota Vyakirti Tavyascha, Smarta Vyodhavan Ranam, Smarta Vyodhavan Ranam. Would you like to do it? Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, Hari Sarvatra Sarvada, Hari Sarvatra Sarvada, Shotavya Kirti Tavyascha, Shotavya Kirti Tavyascha, Smartavya Bhagavan Rinam, Smartavya Bhagavan Rinam. Anyone else? Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, Thank you. Memorized, right? <laughs> it's a very important verse, and I recommend anyone and everyone to uh, memorize this verse as you will hear about the translation. Yeah, I saw you looked up. But did she just memorize that now? But it's a very important verse, and Prabhupada does recommend. Please try to memorize this. You'll see in a few minutes why. It gives such a nice direction to the soul. So, anyone else would uh, want? Tasma Sarvat Maharajan Tasma Sarvat Maharajan Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, Tasmat Sarvatmana Rajan, 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 Sarvatmana yeah, don't, no, no need for timidity. Anyone else? Otherwise, I'll go on to the next uh, item. Uh, 
You know, everyone is chanting with such enthusiasm, I don't think I have to give the class tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's already enthused. Look, it was wonderful. I mean, nobody said it in a very profound, what you call, a profound, robotic way, like this sometimes, Asma Sarvatma such persons we don't want because uh, it's contagious. <laughs> it's uh, all this uh, jubilance and, and vigor and enthusiasm. We're, this is all about God. And if we love God, then we should just give our full fledged force for his glorification, as you will see by this wonderful verse. Uh, I'm going to script the synonyms only from, not because they're unimportant, but from the point of view of time that we have. And uh, I would like to get mostly those things which. Uh, most of you are, are mainly important. So the translation and the purport translation, O King, it is therefore essential that every human being hear about, glorify, and remember the Supreme Lord, the personality of Godhead, always and everywhere. Please repeat, O King. O King. It is therefore essential. It is therefore essential that every human being. That every human being hear about. Hear about. Glorify. Glorify. And remember. And remember the Supreme Lord. The Supreme Lord. The Personality of Godhead. The Personality of Godhead. Always and everywhere. Always and everywhere. Again, always and everywhere. Always and everywhere. And one more time. Always and everywhere. Always and everywhere. Prophet said, if something is very important, you say it three times. That's why I had you do it. Always and everywhere. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't even get you to do it again. But that's okay. No harm and no demerits. So, going to the purport by Srila Prabhupada. <clears throat> yeah, with a child, somebody. I need a monitor to take care of these things because I don't want to have to keep stopping and, and starting. Because they, they don't mean any harm. They're just expressing their natural inborn instincts. In fact, if a child does not make noise, something's wrong with him. The, the normal thing is to express his feelings, express affection. You, we can't expect him to be have the discipline or the control of an older person. So if he makes noise, we should be happy, but other room. <laughs> <laughs> If he doesn't cl stop after uh, 30 seconds, we get the adhesive tape out. <laughs> Goes across the mouth. <laughs> but we hope that will not have to happen. So, purport, Srila Shukdev Goswami begins this verse with the word tasmat, T-A-S-M-A-T. Uh, or, therefore, because in the previous verse, he has already explained that there is no auspicious means for salvation other than the sublime process of bhakti yoga. The bhakti yoga process is practiced by the devotees in different methods like hearing, <clears throat> chanting. I'm going to leave out two. I want to see if you're listening and if you remember the nine forms of devotional service. So listen carefully. It makes the class even more interesting for everybody because everyone wants to know, does he know the nine? Does she know the nine? Uh, do I know the nine? So, uh, getting back, I tell you, I, I don't know how to operate this thing too it, well. It looks fine. Are we okay? Yes. You can hear. Just have to just move the mic. Is that okay? Yes. This? Fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, the bhakti yoga process is practiced by the devotees in different methods like hearing, chanting, remembering, worshipping, praying, uh, rendering service in love, and offering all that one may possess to the Lord. In other words, total surrender. So, now if I can remember, <laughs> uh, which two did I leave out? I'll go through them and you can tell me that one. Okay. Hearing, Chanting, remembering, serving the lotus, uh, serving in love. Oh, that, uh, rendering service, that was the one. Okay, you got, you got that. I'm glad to see nobody's fallen asleep yet. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, so, rendering service in love, 
Becoming friendly. Yeah, that, one. One. that one, okay, good. Well, I'm glad, that it makes me feel very good. And offering all that one may possess, which is self-surrender. All nine methods uh, are bona fide methods, and either all of them, some of them, or even one of them can bring about the de desired result for the sincere devotee. Emphasis on the word sincere. Uh, we're not coming to look religious or look pious or to tell our friends on the weekend, yeah, I went to a home program. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to get filled up with bhakti, with love, with a desire which is so intense for devotional service that you cannot resist it. And I will explain uh, how we can perform devotional service any and every moment of our day. Most people, they set aside different parts of the day. This is for this, this is, that's fine. But the whole point of that is, is to continue into the day so that as Krishna says, always think of me, not occasionally think of me, not once in a while think of me, not partially think of me, always think of me. So that's what I will be talking about today. And everyone will be thinking about Krishna and even when uh, you get a telephone call, you should get upset. Oh, God, i got to interrupt my love for Krishna. All right, hello. <laughs> so, no, uh, actually, you, you actually get to, to, to enjoy this because actually, who is your greatest uh, benefactor? Krishna is your benefactor. He feeds you, he clothes you, he shelters you. Uh, he gives you good health, he gives you medication, he gives you nice children. Uh, he gives you uh, children who have intelligence. So you have so much to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, we have every reason to want to remember Krishna because he is most memorable. Your husband is very memorable and he is rather the representative of God in your household life, but you can appreciate your husband's service or your wife's service when you actually uh, know that uh, Krishna is to be remembered as often as possible so that when husband or wife perform services, they will not be taken ever for granted. That's the